like a cardio kickboxing class or boxing class or anything like that? Can I get a show of hands? We've got two, three, four. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. So do you guys do they teach you how to like wrap your hands so, so when you box and hit stuff, you don't have any issues? Well, if some of you know how to do it, you know this is maybe to refresh or just maybe show you a different way to do it. But I'm going to show you how to uh, wrap your hands for in a box or kickbox. Uh, there's a few reasons why we do this. Uh, one of the first reasons is you can easily get breaks in your metacarpals, which is a fancy word for saying like your knuckles and fingers, this part of your fingers, commonly known as a boxer's fracture. We want to try not get those. Uh, we also want to make sure there's alignment in the joints. So your joints are properly aligned, we want to keep them that way. Uh, another reason is when you have impact, a lot of that's you want to like compress and strengthen the soft tissue that surrounds your hand. We want to make sure that that kind of stays nice and healthy because if that gets jacked up, as you have swelling or you can get cysts in your hands and things of that nature. Another thing is just your wrist. Uh, we want to make sure your wrist is can be completely straight at all times. So when you hit things and impact, you know you don't mess up any of the alignment. And if you do, that's kind of how you can sprain your wrist, get hyperflexion, hyperextension. So I'll start. It's really this is the hardest step, guys. You unroll the wrap. I know, that was crazy. <laughs> Second step, they even help you because some of us guys who punch stuff isn't that smart, this side down, so you know that that's the part that goes down. You just wrap this around your thumb, there's a little loop, so you know this side's gonna go down. See, I have to look to read it. And I personally like to go three times around my wrist, and again, it kind of changes for each person. They do it a little bit differently. Some people go further down the wrist, some people are a little more shallow just depending on what they want. And then I'm going to go around my first finger here, and I like to keep it really tight. Uh, another thing that's really important to realize is like I keep my fingers stretched out the entire time. So you want to make sure you do that because that keeps uh, make sure that the, when when you do have a little bit of um, swelling in there, that you have room for it to kind of expand. And then after that third one, I go through my finger, I kind of go around, and this is when I start doing my knuckles. And some people I know like to really wrap their knuckles really, really tight. Personally, like I feel like just like three initially is really good. I, I worry mostly about the wrist because I feel like that's the kind of where people get a lot of, of uh, sprains and stuff. Especially if you're just doing like cardio kickboxing, anything like that, you're not going to need any more time. I mean, you're not going to be punching enough to really like need a lot of padding there. But you can, if you do, you fold it like four or five times around here. So that looks pretty good. And another really important thing I forgot to mention is you want to make sure that you don't have it too tight where you're losing blood circulation. I remember someone gave a speech the other day about the tourniquet, or no, that you did the uh, wrap on the writ, or the arm, I'm sorry. And you don't want to lose any tingling in your fingers because that would clearly be not great. So there you go. Thank God we did the part down so we can get the Velcro on. And that is how you wrap your hand. Does anyone have any questions about wrapping or anything like that? Cool, that's it.